man on this stuff. And I said that the comedians that, that, that he named, when, when you chime when you chime in on stuff, it just makes it more valid. You know, if it ain't true, you, you know, all the money you got and all the blessings you got, why you on Instagram going, oh, that ain't true, that ain't true. You, you, you make yourself look guilty. <laughs> What's up? This bruh man from the fifth float. And you tuned in to Forgotten Kings TV. Uh, yeah, uh, hello, LaVelle. What's your take on, on Cat Williams' situation? Everybody up on this d distraction. Let me tell you something. It's a distraction. Cat Williams is a very talented brother. And he's very vocal, you know. And my take on it is everybody talk about, you know, I'm cool with, you know how I be cool with people? I don't be around them a lot. Me and Steve Harvey, uh, Steve Harvey let me do the uh, Hoodie Awards several times. I got to do his radio show. He didn't help me out a lot of times, man. I ain't kissing his ass, but he ain't put me in his movie, which that's what I wanted to do. You know, I mean, I was hoping, he said, you and Isaiah are the perfect duo. Somebody said that. Was that you, you pal uh, underscore 85? You Paul, you pal? You know him? Uh, okay. Well, thank you, you Paul. You pal 85. I appreciate the love. Yeah, but my thing on the Cat Williams thing, I think Cat, he just gonna talk. He one of them cats, man. He ain't afraid of nobody. He, he say what's on his mind. And he probably had some confrontation with our friends because you gotta remember. The more the money go up in your life, the more the more the uh, you know the the uh, what you call spite comes out of other people. And if y'all all on the same screen, see and see the one thing about black entertainers, we think it's only one bag, and we don't even understand, man. I couldn't I, I couldn't even get in with the Fridays and all that stuff. I, mean, I don't know why because they wouldn't call me, but I got in with the Adam Sandlers. I got in with Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul. When Netflix wouldn't let me do a special with them, they put my special on that I filmed somewhere else. I did Showtime, and thank you Showtime so many times, and I appreciate Netflix showing my special on their their uh, their, their platform. Tubi, big shout out to them. But hey man, but like I tell people all the time, we think it's just one bag, and that's how these, how these beefs come up. You think because you making it, you you can, you know, you start giving me, but then some comments do still. I seen a comedian go up right before me, right before me and do my damn joke. I said, I seen one go up right after me and do one of my damn jokes. And they never talked about it. And then did the joke. And they famous. And, and I fronted the nigga about it. But we kept talking about his experiences and some of it might be a far-fetched and it might be some of his comedy. You know, he a comedian and he, he be thinking everything he say is beef and some of the stuff he probably got beef with. He know these people. This dude, I want some of that good career. I want the bull, the bull crap that, that he going through. But man, that, that, that brother was making a hundred grand a, a show. He showed that on a video one time. He was making hundred man a hundred thousand a show. All I need is one year of that, Lord. One year, Jesus. I claim it in your mighty name. But my thing is, man. You know, I know all these comments, man. And I, from Quake to Ricky Smiley, and Ricky Smiley looked out for me, man. I got locked up in Oklahoma. Are you just starting to, uh, like five minutes, like Yeah, that's fine. Thank you, Jesus. That dude look just like me. <laughs> the, the white dude. But, uh, well, you can't spell hustle without saying SDL. You damn right, baby. But, uh, we, you, we get down, man. I, I don't have no time for beef. I mean, even when I had somebody was mad at me, I confronted them. We did it and we moved on. I, I don't sit up and fest in that, man. And, you know, crap been blessed. All these guys been blessed to do what they do. I'm blessed to do what I do. I ain't even got the hundred grand to show, but I'm blessed that the, these wonderful people come out to see me every week. They come out and holler at me and let me go up and do my thing, and I try to stay fresh and funny as possible for all of them. 
and I got family to take care of, man. I, I got I got things lingering over me, man. When I get out of the game in a few years, I may tell some stories about some stuff because I've seen some shit. And I've been through some shit, but I mean, the things that I've done, I've been in, I mean, people wouldn't even believe. Because I, I keep myself on a, on a platform that, you know, people say, oh, you just nice. I said, I'm not nice. I'm kind. I'm kind, but you cross me, you'll see another nigga. But I'm not that one to go up and just bother you and, you know, go trip off stuff. And if you steal my joke, I'll make a better one. And I go, I, you know, a comedian told my joke, and I went up after the nigga, and y'all know him, and y'all go buy tickets to this nigga's show, and he a, he a new booty. And he went up and did my shit, and I went up behind him and did my shit again. And I got a standing ovation. That's how hard I go. So that, that's how you got to look at those things. But, you know, he talked about a lot of different categories, and I think, I, I think it was great podcast for Club Shay Shay. It, it, it probably got Club Shay Shay all the the interest he needed because that nigga I'd have been talked about on his show a couple of times and he ain't asked me to come on his show. I've been Lavelle Crawford been brought up with Bruce Bruce and been brought up with uh Ricky Smile and ain't once he he said hey man let me get Lavelle on because he said on with Cat on that time I I think I got all the best comedians on here and I was like oh for real and I said that's cool that's cool. I said, because, you know, hey, none of, none of that stuff make me or break me. Ain't none of them cat talking about people ain't going to put no money in my pocket. I work with every single person he named so I can make some money. And I, we ain't got to see each other. I, had, I, I, I don't have no beef with nobody. And if I do, we'll we holler. I ain't one of them niggas that walk around with this energy. And I think Cat, one of them cats that don't need it, because he say they names and they ain't afraid to do it. I respect him. He's very, he, 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 got, he got a lot of nuts. And I like that about him. I respect him. Cat gave me the best compliment I ever got. And, you know, somebody, some people say he gave them money. I would have loved to get a hundred grand from him, but I, <laughs> I ain't paying it back. <laughs> but he, he gave me the best compliment ever. He said, I, I became famous off my stand-up alone. And that's, that, I met him, that's when I was at the Ralph grocery store. And I, he was out in the car and his people was inside. They said, we come there all the time. I went out there and we shook hands, man. It was good to see Cat. And, uh, and me and Cat been knowing each other a long time. But, I, you know, that's how I chime in on this stuff. And I said, the comedians that, that, that he named, when, when you chime... When you chime in on stuff, it just makes it more valid. You know, if it ain't true, you, you know, all the money you got and all the blessings you got, why you on Instagram going, oh, that ain't true, that ain't true. You, you, you make yourself look guilty. <laughs> and I mean, people say stuff about me, I, I, I holler at you. I ain't trying to bring the in and somebody trying to choose a side. Motherfucker, I don't have no side. I got God's side. I got my family side. I ain't, I ain't in that BS bullshit. No, no bullets was thrown at me. I mean, that world, that world is what it is, you know. I mean, the opportunities I got, I thank the Lord for every one of them. And He's blessed me, and He can bless you too if you want to do it. But if you sit around worrying about somebody uh, talking about you all day, you know you gonna be you gonna you gonna be tired and dead. So, but that's all my take on that shit, man. And I, 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 I want, I want to shout out to all my fishermen out there, Ronnie Green, uh, 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 my man Kenny, Kenny. Uh, shit, I'm up there messing his nigga name, uh, uh, Kenny Williams. Uh, everybody that Keystone Fishing and Fishes. Uh, everybody who I know and love out here, all my St. Louis people, St. Louis always stand up, you know. I mean, you know, that's just like Zed, Zed from St. Louis. I've been knowing Zed for a long time. I mean, you know, I mean, shit, we, we in this game together. I mean, we, we, we should, all that beef, we can be building our own black comedy clubs. We could be building, uh, having our own arenas where we don't have to ask for nothing. We could be making our own movies. All that talent. And if you said they talent, we could all should be making major movies. Big movies. 
We don't need it. We don't need a Tyler Perry to make a movie. We don't need an Oprah. Y'all crying about that, nigga. You put your money where your mouth is. Yeah, you know, that's why I love Anna Santa. Anna Santa bring all his SNL friends. He take, you know, them dudes got a job every time he do a show. I said, that's, that's my goal. That's where I'm going. Before I leave this earth, I'm going to do some films where my fellow comedians that I know and love can come on. Because I, I bring Beast on stage. Isaiah Kelly, a monster. Everybody bring him. Jesse, Jesse McDonald, a monster. Double D, a monster. Go, Goldie Goldsmith, he a little monster. <laughs> My man CJ Bernie, God rest his soul. Man, I, you know, I bring people on that don't get that first shake. You know, Roman Murray, oh my God, a funny, funny motherfucker. Y'all don't even understand. And y'all take us for granted. You know, some, some people take us for granted. They don't even understand. Man, I've been bringing this, this hot fire for a long time. And you know, cats like Deion Cole, we family. I've been knowing Deion Cole since before he made it. We, I got stories. The first time me and Deion Cole met, they was all together. Corey Holcomb, all them cats. And they looked at me like some old country nigga in a suit jacket. And they thought they was going to blow me off the stage. And I went up there and tore that bitch up. And them niggas were looking at me totally different after that. And we became real cool. But... When these cats, you know, they get it, they, they, you know, they don't, they don't talk about me. I don't know what it is. They don't talk about me, and that's good. They don't say nothing bad, but they don't say nothing good either. It's like I get lost in translation. But I'm here. I'm a people's champ, and that's how, I, that's how I like it. As long as you people keep laughing with me and showing me love, I appreciate it. That's where I, that's where I put it out here. But I'm here in Phoenix, Arizona. We got packed houses, man. We, we having fun. Uh, God has blessed me to see another year, and I say Happy New Year to all you beautiful people out here. I hope y'all living your best life. I hope y'all, the fishermen out there, catch them. I don't know where the crappie at yet, but I'm going to find them. You understand what I'm saying? That is poetry emotion. I ain't did nothing yet this year, but I do it all the time. <laughs> no, it ain't hot right now. Phoenix is real cool right now. It's cool. I love to see you perform in Wyoming sometime. Man, Wyoming book me, I do it. Shit, I've done I've done this land, Saskatchewan, Canada, all over the world. Naples, uh Amad, Jordan, I've been everywhere. Yeah, <laughs> Thundercat, Thundercat Ho. Why oh I love to come to Wisconsin and get on those smallies. The last time I was up there, we caught some wall out. We didn't get on those smallies though. I want to get on there. I'll be in Fort Lauderdale, Florida next week with Miami. We got the comedy tour Sunday night. Get your tickets. Some more, I believe. That's our show. Some more on the show, Floyd. I think some more on the show. It's going to be a hot show. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be on them Peacock Pass too, baby. <laughs> yeah, thank you, boss, boss lady underscore A. Uh, what's that? A and B, well, I'm gonna go off and call my wife, see how I'm doing, how she doing. Let's go, get a boat and some, oh no, man, you, that's on you, brother. I, 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 I got my wife, that's the only hoe I'm dealing with. <laughs> and she ain't no hoe, holla at you. I'm so glad you didn't steal any of Cat Williams' joke. I said, I don't need to. I don't need to steal nobody fucking joke. I, 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 I'm creative. Yeah, but y'all take care. I'll see you later. It's your boy, Reggie Curl, you know what I'm saying? This is my cousin, Toronto, you know what I'm saying? He's coming by. You know, I know me an old b**** from the Langston Carnivals. I didn't even want my man to eat my because I eat meat from Aldi's. The f*** wrong with you? Aldi's, you should eat this. We don't know what the f*** that meat is. Yeah! For real, I heard he had to get in prison. That's not the f*** 
the part about it, the part about it is he had the audacity to ask me why I ain't helping my sister. Ain't no point of both of us getting. Look him right in his eyes. He go to pat me down. $20, homeboy. I'm like, <laughs> no, sir. Yeah!